It is unbelievable and surreal to see these images. The devastation in Maui is incredible. Nearly 100 people have now been confirmed dead from the wildfires decimating much of that Hawaiian island and the death toll will likely rise much higher. As the search continues in Maui, efforts to help survivors also continues. Fox's Gina Silva is in Maui and she joins us now live. Gina, give us an idea as to what is happening there right now. Good morning. Good morning, Tom. Yes, we're outside of the War Memorial Gymnasium. This is where many of the Lahaina residents who were displaced, they are staying here until they can find some sort of temporary shelter. So they have been staying here. We originally were a lot closer to the shelter, but we have been moved back a little bit just to give them more privacy. Throughout the days that we've been here, we've met so many incredible people and their stories of survival are amazing. As the darkness came, it, it just looked like Armageddon over there. Cars exploding and propane tanks exploding and people screaming. It sounded like a giant blowtorch and you're running from that. And we had to run in the ocean because we were starting on fire. And we were in the ocean probably like eight hours. And I was trying to help our neighbors to get out of their car, but they didn't make it. They were staying in the car and they didn't want to leave the car. So most of them had either burned alive in the car oh. as I ran away. Days after this inferno took so many lives and destroyed a legendary seaside community, many locals are expressing anger at how Maui handled this disaster. Having a warning or something like that would have been nice for the whole Lahaina branch, you know, the whole Lahaina community. And I'm pretty pissed off about that. I feel that our county and state completely failed the Lahaina community, a fail on an epic level. For any families that were at home and had no idea that this was happening, there was no time to escape. With road closures and police turning people away, it's been nearly impossible to get back to the town of Lahaina. Just saddened by this. This road's blocked all day. All that we hear is roads closed. They don't tell us when will they let us go. Cooking oil. Right now, the government's letting us down, so it's really important that all the people of Maui stick together. Tour boats loaded with supplies are making runs to Lahaina several times a day. People helping people is it's a really powerful thing, and just seeing that everyone come together is we see it all the time. It, it, it warms you, it moves you, and it, it gives people hope that this will get better. Now, there is some progress. Power has been restored to some areas in Lahaina, and there was also a donation. Two large Wi-Fi trucks are now in Lahaina, and they're helping, obviously, for the residents so they can charge up their cell phones and be able to communicate with family members. Tom? Just a very tough, tough time for those folks. So thanks so much. Gina Silver reporting live this morning from Lahaina in Maui.